Hey there, this is Harjit here. I hope you're doing great. Guys, uh, this video is about uh, how to choose between data frame and data set. I have a different video which discusses uh, the difference between a data frame and data set. In this video, I'm going to focus especially on uh, when to use data frame and when to use a data set. Let us start. Okay, so uh, I have a detailed video on what is a data frame and what is a data set. I recommend you to see that video before going further into this video. But I am still going to touch base on what is a core concept. Uh, you know, what are these uh, concepts at very high levels? Okay, data frame, uh, you should think of it as a immutable table. You should think of it as a relational table in which you cannot change any values. Uh, it's immutable. Uh, it is a you can also think of it as a uh, collection of uh, generic row objects generic objects uh, it is it is more of a formal kind of definition of uh, data frames so it data frames are not type safe uh, when I say they are not type safe I mean to say uh, you if you end up uh, using a column in database uh, data frame code which column doesn't exist in data frame you will not see any error you will only see error at runtime at compile time you will not see any error that's what i mean from uh, type safety uh, now uh, data frames were introduced to simplify the programming that was happening on rdd people who are from java background who are from not uh, functional language background they were finding it very difficult to code in to code in RDD uh, terms and they were finding it very difficult to optimize it. So data frame uh, brings in SQL, you can you know, simply pass a normal SQL and uh, if you're from SQL background, it's very easy to code on uh, data frame. So it, it, it kind of uh, helped uh, adoption of Spark and uh, you know made big data more famous. Data, data sets have come as an evolution from data frame. Uh, only difference major difference between data frame and data set is that data set are strongly typed means if at when you're writing code if you and if you uh, write your logic and you use a column which is not part of your uh, data set uh, you will your code will not compile you will uh, see a compile time error so that's data set for you uh, it is very handy uh, you know because you can save a lot of time, uh, you know, if you uh, a lot of time in development and testing, uh, you know, if you, uh, if you, uh, you know, if your data is very huge and there are a lot of columns, you end up making, you know, these kind of mistakes that uh, uh, you kind of assume a type of a column. Okay, I wanted to make sure that uh, you guys understand type safety uh, before we move on to the actual usage thing. Uh, so there are two kinds of error you can face. One is syntax error and other is analysis error. Syntax error I believe that most of you folks will know that when uh, you and uh, you are not using any permitted words that you know you're not writing the right syntax. I assume that you already know what is syntax error. Uh, analysis error are those errors where you end up using a column or you end up using metadata of a table which is uh, uh, not right you know if you say write a select statement and in select statement you end up using a column which is not even existing in your table uh, then that will be called a analysis error if the spelling of select in your select statement is wrong that becomes a syntax error i, I hope you understand the difference now sql by language is not uh, uh, type safe it is not type safe at uh, syntax error checking and at analysis error checking. Uh, so SQL is not type safe at compile time. Uh, um, you know, it doesn't, if you write a SQL statement, it will, until unless you hit that, uh, it, until unless you run that SQL statement, you will not come to know whether your syntax is right or wrong, or whether the columns that you have mentioned in your, uh, 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 you know, SQL statement, whether that is right or wrong. So that's, uh, uh, you know, where, SQL is not type safe language at all. When you talk about data frames, uh, 
data frames if you are writing your code in terms of data frame api uh, your code will be compile time safe your syntax errors will be checked at compile time uh, but your uh, uh, analysis errors will not be checked at compile time so uh, you know you will if you end up using wrong columns you will uh, realize that error only at runtime data set give you compile time and runtime error, uh, uh, runtime both safety okay now when to use data uh, data set you if your application have strong need of uh, uh, you know type safety then i recommend you to use uh, data set if you want to use sql constructs and you want to use map function map map partition function aggregate function reduce function all those functional language uh, functional programming constructs you want to use uh, then you should prefer using data set uh, especially if you have a requirement of business logic in your code uh, and that business logic has to be defined as uh, in lambda expressions then you should prefer using uh, you know uh, uh, data sets uh, data sets helps you you know uh, better uh, use memory and it helps you to catalyst catalyst optimization and it helps you generate optimal code through through tungsten so uh, your code will be better if you use uh, automatic code generation that spark does will be better if you use data set you will be using your memory more efficiently because uh, data sets use encoders and encoders are more efficient in uh, using your memory uh, the amount of uh, uh, you know data that will be storing in your cache you, your your capacity will increase your resources your cache resources and your ram resources will be used more optimally by encoders now when to use data frame if you are using python or r then it is very clear uh, you know they are uh, not type safe languages so they don't support uh, uh, data sets only thing that is supported there is data frame and if you are not worried much about type safety you know your table doesn't have much number of columns and uh, you know uh, you're already aware of uh, five six columns and their types when you're writing code and you don't bother much about type safety then you should use data frame and if you don't have any need of uh, you know uh, writing your logic in lambda lambda expression you feel that sql is good enough for you to express the whole logic then prefer using data frame so uh, this is what i wanted to cover as part of this video if you have any doubts please post it in the comment section Guys, I recommend you to exactly understand what is the difference between data set and data frame through a video which I have already posted on my channel. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any feedback, please post it on my channel and uh, I'll definitely consider that while making next set of videos. Thank you.